up how you doing how's your mama doing i'm like now ladies and gentlemen everybody heard about katie holmes divorcing tom cruise well i'm kind of glad that she's is that she's fucking is and i'm glad i'm glad she's getting away i'm glad she hired her dad to help her with the divorce hearing she wants to have the the divorce hearing up in new york where tom cruise wants to have the hearing in california where the reason why he wants to have it in California is because if he he can get custody of that little girl they have Siri. So where if he wins he can stick her on a fucking boat out in the middle of fucking who knows where to, so his fucking religion can teach her how to be such a stuck up piece of shit like he is. So but she wants to have it in New York so she won't have to have her child grow up in a uh, fake ass religion named Scientology but I'm kind of glad because one thing is I say I say this I give her props because she wants to leave but I kind of think what the fuck is wrong with you if you like because one thing is if you knew that this dude was in Scientology why even the fuck would you marry him and have a kid by him if you knew he was in science talent she said because one thing is what you could have did was after if you after you had that kid you could have divorced him because if y'all get on that subject well he's saying i want my daughter to be in science talent or i want my son to be in science talent then i think it's time to pack your shit and run because one thing is i don't think no child should be raised by a religion because once they get older, that child don't want to go. That child maybe want to go and have another religion. Like, what if the child want to be a Muslim or a Heb or Jewish or a Christian or a Baptist or a Buddhist, whatever? Because it is that child's option when that child gets older on what religion she wants to be in, wants to have. What, what she wants to believe in but he wants to stick her on a fucking boat out in the middle of nowhere and and it's a science time see this is where it pisses me off I said I talked about this before when I was talking shit about Katie Holmes giving her kids some candy at a young age and plus the high heels and shit and I was sitting there talking about it and it pissed me off it's like I couldn't figure out why would any religion have a fucking cruise boat or a fucking hotel why is science, why you don't see Baptists people who are Baptist the church of Baptist with a with a hotel and a fucking cruise ship you don't see a synagogue with a with the hotel and a cruise ship you don't see Christianity where the Christian church has a cruise ship and a hotel you don't see a, a, a Muslims with the hotel and the like a, a hotel and mosque you don't see the mosque with a hotel and a cruise ship do you no but how come Scientology is the only fucking religion in this fucking world with the hotel and the cruise ship unless something's really going on and I say like this, man. The, there's people, the set of people, I give prompts to more than ever because they don't want science telling you around. That's anonymous. Like I'm not talking shit about anonymous because to me they doing what's right because science telling you is such a fake religion and everybody knows it. Because if it was a real, why? Because one thing is this is what this is why it's fake because back in the 50s or 60s there was a no it was the 50s where a science fiction novelist made that religion in the 50s I think it was 1952 or 1953 where he made this religion and what get and the reason why I say it's fake the, and, and, and no but another reason why is why would anybody believe in that religion if it was made in the 50s? Well, you could say, well, the Bible was made a long time ago. Well, it was Christianity started 100 years after Jesus' death, but his brother died the same way Jesus died. 
when Jesus died but but you're right that man wrote the Bible but God is there and so is Jesus everybody knows Jesus and God not everybody but everybody has their own messenger and beliefs in their certain God but but there's been a but these other religions, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, baptism, so, uh, Muslims, so on and so forth, has been around for millions and millions of years. But this religion, science, times has been around for what, what, 60, 70 years? 60, 70 years or 80 years? See, and people's believing in it like why isn't everybody believing a religion that was pulled out of some science fiction novelist's ass and that's one thing you see there's like I said man I'm glad that Anonymous is really busting their ass trying to get rid of Scientology because it's so fucked up because after you after you hear after you see and get this information you go out there and you get all this information on about this and you find out that uh, people's been killed because they want to get out of it there's been people that used to be in Scientology saying say there was a guy that went on national several guys that went on several people that went on national TV and said well Scientology is bullshit it's full of shit I wish I never gotten got involved with this because it's really nothing but a bunch of bullshit and everything and and they said well because the reason why I found out about the ship is one guy saying well if uh, if Tom Cruise gets the daughter and she's about to be age six age six he's gonna sit her on a boat out to sea where she can get her fucking education about science technology and all this little girl's gonna be is a fucking robot and there was two men that said that and I'm and like I'm hoping and praying that Katie Holmes get full custody of this little girl because a child don't need to be raised by religion a child does not need to be raised by religion it's not a church's job to raise your fucking child. It is your job to raise a child. You can teach a child about religion, but you cannot make a religion teach your kid about everything. You can't ask God to. You can't ask any gods or any messengers to teach your kids how to do math or read, write, and arithmetic or speak five different fuck motherfucking languages or shit, shit like that. You don't ask a religion for that shit. And to find out, man, and to find out, you look, like I said, you look this shit up, you find out the information that you need on Scientology, and the second thing about this shit is that when he divorced, when Nicole Kidman divorced his ass, he did get remarried to Penelope Cruz. Everybody keeps leaving that woman out. She, he married Penelope Cruz before he met Katie Holmes. He uh, so she, he married Katie, he married Pen Penelope Cruz, got married, and she divorced him, but kept the last name. But didn't know that the Scientology was actually scouting wife number three, uh, well, wife number four, because they keep skipping Penelope Cruz. And. Even, and what was that girl from my modern day family with uh, uh, even the, not even Nagoria but uh, forgot her name but she wouldn't cur converse over to science times because of her religion because her fucking beliefs and I couldn't believe her so that relationship didn't work and all I'm saying is I hope Katie Holmes win because I want her to win the custody of this little girl because that little girl don't really need to go go through that. And and, and it's sad to see that 
I'm, like to me it seems like <laughs> it seems to me like Tom Cruise doesn't need to get married that Tom Cruise doesn't need to have a wife because if his wives keep leaving him then there's a fucking reason why there's a fucking reason why and I don't think that I don't think that Scientology needs to be sitting up there trying to recruit him a wife I don't think so because it's bullshit how they up there to me you don't let your fucking religion you don't need to let your religion get in your fucking personal life that is not that is not their fucking job and it pisses me off that this motherfucker allows a religion to I wouldn't call it religion but you you allow this fucked up bullshit to see if find you a woman to fuck it makes no sense that you allow some motherfucking religion to help you get your fucking get your get you a woman I, I don't think so I don't why would you do that why would any man do that why would any woman do that like you ain't gonna see me oh yeah what's up preacher uh what's up what's up pastor can you help father uh rabbi can you please help me find a woman or a man whatever the person whoever it is, is and that's looking for a, a, somebody to date or fuck whatever I don't it's fucked up that he gotta ask his religion to help him find a woman and that's kinda fucked up man I don't and it kinda fucks me up and it kinda blow and But uh, like I said, man, it just never makes no sense. And like I said, I'm so glad that she's leaving him because she definitely don't need to be stuck in this shit. Where and plus the marriage was really been rocky and all like that for the last several years. So that that I kind of say you might as well end their relationship right there. But I think Katie Holmes should get full custody of this little girl because he definitely don't need it because Katie, Katie Holmes is more of a fucking parent than his bitch ass because cause one thing is she hardly it's like she did several little things over the years and been month movies guest appearance and all like that on certain thing on certain movies or shows but she was always there with her child and raising her child She's more of a parent than Tom Cruise, but he's always working. Well, well, he's always working, making the Mission Impossible movies. He's always away. Yeah, but where is Katie Holmes? Right at home, teaching her child from right from wrong. And that's all it is. But like I said, man, I'm glad she finally won a divorce, so... on a divorce and shit because it, it really was fucked up on how these people it, it, I just can't I just can't like I said man it's all about it, it, it's about it's about her leaving him and I'm glad can, I wonder can this man ever keep a woman cause this, can this man ever keep a woman that's one thing is he's go through women like like a like going, like you going through your draws. He goes through women like you go through draws. Your draw. Can't keep a woman. He had his first wife. Left. His second wife. Left. His third wife. Left. His fourth wife. Left. And it was all 33. Look, like I said, look up Penelope Cruz. And I bet you. I bet you. She was married to Tom Cruise. I shit you not. If if you don't blame me, look it up. 
look it up. I shit you not. She was married to Tom Cruise before divorcing him. Yeah. But but it's like this. Like like I said, man. I'm so proud of this woman leaving him that she actually. Like for real, man, cause I, I couldn't give up my religion. Just I couldn't give up certain shit, man. If I was in, a, like, if you think about it, cause you're y'all sitting there thinking, say, well, you just keep talking about religion. No, but it's really, it's really about her leaving him. It's really about her leaving him, and that's all it is. It's all about her leaving him, and. And that's the best best thing to do is for her to leave him. And um, I just I just can't I just don't know why anywhere where any woman want to be with a man like him because I I notice a lot of people that's been in Scientology. Scientology and uh and got divorced like Jason Lee who was in uh, uh was it My Name is Earl he was in uh Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Mall Rats uh Clerks well I think yeah Clerks 2 and Clerks 1 I think and um and he was in that uh ch I mean in the Chipmunks the Squeak the, se the Squeakwool and Chip Red whatever he divorced his wife because she wouldn't converse to Scientology. And, uh, and that's how, it, and that's how it is. She, and, like I said, man, I just, I just think, man, that she should have just never like for real man just to be honest I wish she never like I'm saying I wish she would never got I wish Kate Holmes would never got involved because one thing is you get involved with something like this man where they believe in Jack, this bullshit this bullshit or bullshit religion and it's been made up by something like for real man who would who would believe in a fucking uh a religion that was made up by uh, a, a, a science fiction novelist in the 1950s. For real. I'm for real, man. That just... But, I'm like I said, man, it's, uh, I hope that Katie Holmes do get full custody of her, her daughter because she she is a better parent than Tom Cruise because she's really been there for a child. She's really been the mother and the father when Tom Cruise is not in the house and he's away on long distant projects where he's got to travel the world and shit. Because one thing is, I think this girl, little girl should be in school getting a good education instead of wasting it on a fucking boat going around the fucking world. Because it's not right for this girl to ever have to sit up there, sit up there and waste, lose her, lose her fucking kid years, her young years on a fucking boat. And I give major props for Katie Holmes getting out now, sooner than later. Because if she didn't get out sooner than later, she definitely would have been fucked over so badly, so fucking badly. Because that relationship, if if you have trouble in your marriage, then that's and you can't get help. And then if you get help for, it, but it still doesn't work out, just do what you do. What you gotta do: divorce and move the fuck on. But I hope she gets full custody of this little girl. I hope this little girl has a happy fucking life with her mother. She does not need to be around a bullshit religion like Scientology. And like I said, I give major props to. Anonymous for 
doing what they got to do, doing what they're doing to uh, Scientology. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass. If you like what I got to say, tell me what you think in a comment or video response. If that's how it is. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. I'm out.